An Old Flame with a New Wick is a really interesting two and a half men episode. And when I started watching this, I'd forgotten most of this episode. It's been about 10 years since I last binge watched the show. And I was a bit concerned that it wouldn't be very sensitive. But actually, most of the jokes are targeted at Charlie, which I think was the right decision. And I will talk about what I mean uh, about that in a moment. I thought it worked really well, so there will be spoilers from this point on as I discuss various aspects of the episode. It's the 18th episode of the first season of Two and a Half Men. It's directed by Andrew D. Wyman, and I want to celebrate the fact that Berta is in it. I love Conchata Farrell. Berta's not really been in it very much recently, and she definitely brought a really great energy to this. It starts off with Charlie revealing that a former flame of his, Jill, wants to meet up with him. And they haven't seen each other in, I think, five, four or five years. And as I said, there will be huge spoilers in this discussion. Charlie goes to the bar to meet her and this guy sits down next to him. And this is a character played by Chris O'Donnell. And it becomes clearer to the viewer what is going on much more quickly than it does to Charlie, because Charlie thinks he's been stood up by Jill. But this guy, it turns out, is Bill, who used to be Jill. He had a, a sex change at one point, and Charlie is obviously in disbelief about this. And as I said, as soon as I realised or remembered, I guess, that this episode was going to be about a, a trans male. I kind of thought this is two and a half men quite a good number of years ago. Are they going to be sensitive with it? And absolutely none of the jokes were about Bill as such, even though all of the comedy is basically centred around Bill's part of the story. It's all about the way Charlie reacts and, well some things with Evelyn that I'll get into with a moment. And I think there's actually, there's a quote that I love that I wrote down. And I think it really helped to, sh to show that actually they were on Bill's side. They weren't making fun of Bill. They were making fun of the way Charlie responded to it. By they, I mean, of course, the show's writers, the people involved in the show. And the quote is from Bill. And it is, how could I explain it to you back then? I couldn't even explain it to myself. And I thought that, that was a really beautiful quote that helped to show the complexity of this situation, how Bill might have felt when he was with Charlie versus how he feels now and how much more comfortable he is with himself. And I think that really established that there was an understanding of what Bill went through and that the comedy is not targeted at Bill. It's kind of bouncing off of Bill, if you like, and the things that happen around him, the way other people responded to the situation. And I think that that was a, a really sensible decision. Bill ends up going back to Charlie's house. Bill could really do with a friend at this point, And he remembered having a very good friendship with Charlie. And Berta maybe suspects something because of the way Bill says hello to her and, and the way he acts around her. There was a very weird moment where Bill just threw his jacket on the floor. And I'm not really sure what that was about. Obviously, it led us to Bill picking it up and then coming close with Berta. But it was a very odd moment where Bill just had the audacity to throw his jacket on the floor. Like, what are you doing? It was quite strange. But then he meets Evelyn and... He's looking for a, a, a place nearby. Evelyn obviously jumps at the opportunity to give him her business card. And then Bill goes back to Evelyn's. And Alan is concerned about the age difference. Charlie has not informed Alan that this is actually, or was, Jill, who he was going to meet, of course, now Bill. And Alan just finds it funny that Charlie was stood up by Jill, but met an old friend called Bill. And Alan is, is very oblivious until he sees a photo of Jill. And this photo definitely, I think, helped move the narrative forward as it allows Alan to realise Bill was Jill. And then also when Berta sees it and finally comes to the same con conclusion. And Evelyn comes by to discuss her relationship with Bill. And it's very apparent that she's not yet aware that Bill was Jill. And it took me a second to realise the significance of the conversation because when they were sitting in the kitchen and 
She was telling Charlie, look, I, I like this person. I want a relationship with them. It took me a second to realize that she was just thinking. She was telling Charlie she wanted to date one of Charlie's friends. At this point, she has no idea that they had a sexual relationship together. And it took me a second for for that to kind of sink in. And then, of course, we get this wonderful scene. It's wonderfully framed where we just see Evelyn and Bill in the doorway. And we don't know what they're saying, but we can tell the progression of the conversation as Bill obviously tells her, first of well, presumably, first of all, he was born a woman, and second of all, he slept with Charlie. And the way Evelyn responds, well, she just goes into shock and faints, and it was obviously very funny. And again, I think a very, a very realistic response to find that out, I guess, because that's a lot of information to take in in a very short space of time. My favourite moment, actually, in the whole episode, the bit I found the funniest, and this just goes to show how much I think we need Berta at the heart of the, the whole the whole show, is when Evelyn asks for some privacy because she doesn't want to discuss this, and I quote, in front of the help, and Charlie asks Berta to leave, and she refuses. And just the way she responds to that, she's giddy with excitement because she thinks... She knows the direction the conversation is going. And I just, I love her. I think she's so funny. So absolutely, part of me was nervous about the direction this episode could have gone. But I think they managed to tackle a potentially really sensitive subject in a way that allowed them to get a lot of comedy out of it, but always focusing on other characters and never really being insensitive. I did worry that Charlie's response would come across as insensitive, but I think it was more just a very realistic response to feeling that level of shock and not having expected the 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 encounter to go that way, of course. And again, I feel like Bill was handled really sensitively. I think if this had been created today, let's say this was, you know, produced and aired for the first time today, I think they probably would have hired a trans male actor. I think there, that would have been the direction they would have taken because I know that there are a lot of discussions about whether uh, a trans person should play a trans character. Of course, there is also the argument that it's acting and that it shouldn't matter if you're just acting. I'm not saying one argument or the other is right. I don't necessarily have an opinion on it, but I do feel like today to be extra cautious and careful and sensitive they would have hired a trans man to play the role of a trans man but other than that certainly two and a half men is often a product of its time we've come such a long way in such a short space of time but I feel like actually it was it was done as more sensitively than I'd expected and that's obviously a a really good thing so definitely not a bad episode at all a lot of really good comedy and definitely was much better than I'd anticipated. An Old Flame with a New Wick is certainly a very interesting episode. 